You'll remember from a previous video that I found this PWM charge controller on eBay for less than £3.20 and I was really impressed with it. It's got a PIC microcontroller inside. It is true PWM and I guess the only thing that was letting it down was the fact that it's only 3 amps. But one of the questions I got asked a lot in the comments was around something on the inside. And if I open it up and take out the circuit board, the question I received most was around these dip switches and what they did. And I had cut out a bit of the video where I was turning these on and off and trying to work out what was going on and I couldn't work it out. It didn't seem to change any voltages of, of battery charging or anything like that. But what I had noticed online is there were different versions of this solar charge controller available. There was one sold as a lithium ion solar charge controller and one sold as a nickel metal hard drive charge controller. So I wondered if these changed the voltages uh, for different types of cells. So I went out and bought another one which looked absolutely identical but the information on the back says that this is a 7.4 lithium iron solar charge controller. So I wondered if those dip switches would be different. But before I even opened this case Looking inside the box, this one has a manual, which didn't come with my last solar charge controller. And if I open it up, so there it is. It's in English, uh, the whole thing. There's no other languages whatsoever. Um, it seems quite readable English as well. But on the back was the most interesting part and it's this table here on the left hand side which uh, which talks about these dip switches and if they're all in the zero mode which it is a standard then the output is on and if we change the dip switches it's all about the amount of hours that the output remains on after the solar has stopped producing power so after the sun has gone in. So this manual also explains uh, for this model the 7.4 volt which is two lithium ion cells isn't it. Uh, it's got high voltage protection at nine volts so four and a half volts per cell that seems quite high. Uh, charging cutoff is at 8.4 volts, 4.2 volts per cell. Over discharge voltage six volts so three volts per cell. And all the other information you can read there for yourself. So I'll see what this does with a couple of lithium ion cells attached to it. I know you shouldn't trickle charge lithium ion cells. So perhaps this one's set to not use pulse width modulation. Uh, or to disconnect completely once it gets up to the 8.4 volts. I guess we'll have to see in my tests. But for now we know what the dip switches do. And... If you are buying one of these on eBay, make sure you get the right model, 7.4 volt for lithium iron or uh, 12 volts for lead acid. And now I have opened them, they look absolutely identical and every component that I've been able to identify is exactly the same. So all the changes are in the PIC microcontroller between the 7.4 volt model and the 12 volt model which I guess is understandable it's just a matter of dumping a different firmware onto the same standard board. So with that question answered I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.